AI SEO is the new magic that can help you with free website traffic now. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Ubersuggest Keyword Research Tool and ChatGPT to bring huge traffic to your website or affiliate marketing links. So, what you want to do here is to log into Ubersuggest. If you don't have your Ubersuggest account, just go to ubersuggest.com and open one for free. So here I'm high in my Ubersuggest dashboard. But meanwhile, I actually created a full tutorial where I show everything you need to know about Ubersuggest and how to use this easy keyword AI SEO tool to turn your website around. You see, there are several SEO tools out there, but if you want amazing website traffic or an SEO tool that will not take money from your pocket, or more importantly, an easy to understand tool, then I really suggest Ubersuggest. And that's the reason why most of my tutorials are done in this super suggest SEO too. So if you want a one in all step-by-step -step SEO guide from beginner to advanced, then use the link in the video description and download that complete Uber suggest SEO guide. So back to Uber suggest dashboard now. The first thing I want you to do here is to add your website to this tool. Then I want you to run a site audit for your website or your client's website. What you want to take note of after the audit is completed is the number of keywords that your website is presently ranking for. Just take note of it. Then I want to believe that right now you already have a number of your competitors' websites somewhere saved. If you don't, just go to Google and look for two or three of your competitors. I already explained all of this more deeply in the complete Uber Suggest guide I told you about a while ago. So just check it up using the download link in the video description. So as for me, I already have one of my competitors' website that I want to use for this demonstration. So what I want to do next is to come to the menu here and click the keyword research drop down and then click the keyword overview. Okay, just come here and type in the website URL of your competitor. Choose your preferred language and then your country of target. This is the country you are targeting and not your country of residence. I want you to take note of that. Then search and let's wait for the results it's going to give us. Okay, so you can see that this is indeed a massive website. I love using massive websites like this for my competitor analysis because websites like this just have huge, huge amount of data that I can work with. I can literally do everything I want to do with just this one website. So now, just scroll down and then you will see all the top keywords that this website is presently ranking for. One of the first things you should do is to look out for keywords that are bringing huge traffic to this website. Then you want to check which of them that are currently ranking for this website but not on your website. The idea is that if lots of traffic are visiting this website using these keywords, you too want to rank for those keywords as well. Now, there is one issue about this. One big question you might want to ask is, what if these keywords have high competition? Should you still write articles on them? The answer is yes. But why should you do that? Now, this is the catch. We found out during some of the most recent Google update that one of the criteria that Google uses to rank your website's content is the authority of your website. What this means is that Google will usually crawl your entire website content to check up on the value of your website. Now, Google expects that in your niche, there are some very important topics that your website should be covering. If Google crawl your website and doesn't find these topics, then your website authority is going to be reduced. The bad thing about this is that the reduction in authority score has the potential to affect the whole of your website's ranking potential negatively. So you really want to write content on these popular topics, even if the competition is high. And even if you find it difficult to rank for those keywords, they will still help improve your website authority in the background and then help those content with higher potential to rank in the long run. Another thing you can do is that you can look out for the lower competition long tail related keywords of these popular keywords and then write on them. So look through this website and then take note of these keywords. Secondly, if you scroll down, you will begin to also find keywords in this competitor's website that also have quite good amount of traffic balanced with low competition. You also want to pick and save those keywords in your keyword bank so that you can write on them.
So once you have a good number of keywords that you have gotten from your competitor's website, then head over to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to help you write compelling articles on these topics using those keywords. I'll record another video to demonstrate how you can write an SEO optimized article using powerful ChatGPT prompt. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and tap the alert bell so YouTube can notify you when I release my next videos. So now, I am not really a fan of copying and pasting exactly what ChatGPT gives you without editing them. So I really want you to look into these articles and then edit them. Make sure you bring your personality, your experience and expertise into the article and then you can publish your new article. Go ahead, rinse and repeat the same process for other keywords and just be consistent for a while. I guarantee that in a matter of few months you will begin to see compounded effect on your website traffic and conversions and before you know what's happening, getting eyeballs to your website will not be an issue again. What do you think? Will you give this a try? And also, if you have any question and comment for me, then drop them in the comment section and I promise to read all of them and respond as best as I can. If you want my free SEO checklist to know how to go about your website SEO practice, then download it for free using the download link in the comment section below this video. Thank you and please like this video before signing off. I will see you in the next one.